so you can okay, see. Here's a, a high white concentric. That's a big female. And then here's the male that goes with it, which is really white in color. And the, you breed them together and the, the, the babies will even be even whiter. And uh, so that's you, what people really want is the really white, light colored uh, diamondbacks. So that's where you're getting into the selective stuff, like putting the, the white ones in. Put the white in with the white, you put in the blue with the blue. And then this one right here, this is a, another big female blue concentric. It's kind of a, almost like a light purple head. It's a, it's a gorgeous turtle. Yeah. And it's, you know, you got the light pattern, the concentric patterns on, on the shell on the bottom. But this is a really beautiful little turtle. And that's full size, nine inches. So it's a, okay. you know, like the Raider sliders, they get so big, 13, 14 inches, you know, it gets kind of hard to handle, especially if you have them inside. Mm -hmm. You can keep these inside in an aquarium, you know, a 250 gallon aquarium, they do great, but nothing's better than keeping them outside Outdoors, in yeah. natural, natural uh, sun conditions, you know. Natural lighting. So let's talk about, um, let's stick with color on this here for a little bit more, because now that they're swimming together, it's really interesting to see. Because when you see the blue one and the white one swim next to each other, it's, right. it's really unique. Tell us about these ones. The bottom one is? That's the, the black and blue concentric, and then the bottom is more of a light phase concentric, uh, mostly considered a, a high white concentric. And that's the one you're selecting out and yeah, it's all selective about breeding. selective breeding, about color patterns and variations. So if you put a blue and a white one together, you'll get a light blue. You put two blues together, you'll get a, a lighter blue. And then you put two whites together, a male and female white, then you'll uh, get more white. And that's just, that's with the shell too. Shell has got everything to do with it too. Okay, just so skin. I'm gonna put her this blue one down, and let's let's grab this little male. So here's a little male and a and a larger female. Is she full grown? Uh, she'll probably grow a little bit more. A little bit more, right? She's yeah, in. she'll probably grow another inch or two. And you can definitely see the the knobs on the back on both male yeah, and female. Yeah, the female flattens out a little bit quicker than the males. Do you know if the the white variety is closer to Maryland or Massachusetts? Or no, they're all inter, like intermixed up there. Intermixed. It's all yes. about you you doing the selective breeding once yes. you have them in captivity, right? Because right. Right. in the wild, they're just going to breed with whoever's in the area. Here they can't do that. Here they are stuck with who I put in the tank with them. And then th this is just called a black concentric. It's got the black shell with the black diamond and really dark skin. And then the, it's really black down below here. Wait, let's feed these guys first. You wanna feed them? Yeah, I want them up sure. close feeding and I wanna be able to check out their patterns while they feed. Definitely not shy on eating. Yeah. So do you ever throw aquatic plants in here? Do you ever throw some water hyacinth in for them to chew yeah, on? Or? Uh, well, uh, these guys don't eat the water hyacinth. They're strictly carnivores. Ah, nice. So, so they don't uh, eat the plants. The, I, I do use the plants to keep the algae down. Okay. That's good to know. I learned something new today. Because everyone's like, can I put some turtles in my pond? I'm like, ah, they're going to eat all your plants. So I go like, if you want some rare well, turtles. Well, red sliders do eat the plants. The cooters eat the plants. And some of the map turtles will eat plants. But map turtles are pretty small, right? So they can't do that much damage. Uh, they can. <laughs> they, they'll eat the roots. They won't eat the plant itself. Yeah, and then the, the roots. then the plant just dies out. Then the okay. plant dies off, yeah. Yeah, seeing the, the, the black and blue feed next to the white. Super, super cool looking. I love this little guy. Look at him. He's hot. Super hot. He's starting to shed some of his scoots off with the algae on it. So it comes out nice and clean here. See, it's already got rid of some of the, the scoots. So this one came off. This one still has some yeah, it's time still, to come off. It's, 
it'll come off in the next week or two. And then it'll be all nice, clean little turtle again. This guy is so hot looking. All the females like him for sure, huh? Oh, he likes all the females, yeah, <laughs> for sure. That's why he's the, I think there's two males in here. But he's, had, he's having a lot of fun. This guy's the king. So here's a question I want to ask you. <clears throat> I mean, these are, these are semi-aquatic turtles, right? Is that how you total call them? Total aquatic. They're total aquatic. Yes. Total aquatic turtles, but they still need land to get out on. Well, I would, I, see, I would think like the, um, what's the turtle I'm thinking of that's, that's full aquatic, that I know is a full aquatic? You know, the, dang, help me, which one that the never Ritter comes out? The Slider? No, the one that never comes out. Oh, the uh, pig nose turtle? Yeah, the pig nose turtle. I thought that was a full aquatic, and these guys were, had to come out of the water. Well, so semi-aquatic means that they spend as much time on land as on water. Okay. So a semi-aquatic turtle would be like a, a wood turtle. Okay. Uh, wood turtles like a lot of land, but they come in the water too. Do they have paddle feet like this too? Yeah. So but but the, these guys are all, all aquatic. They need more water than land for sure. But you can put a semi-aquatic turtle in this setup too because you still give them both options so they can still... In the waterland tub setup. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely have to get more of these at my shop. I love these tanks. <clears throat> you have all different sizes. Is this the biggest one you have? This is the biggest one, 200 yeah. 200 gallons. You have them all the way down to like a little five gallon thing for, for babies, right? Yeah, a little three gallon tank for, for baby turtles. And, uh, Hey, if you, if you got a small yard or a patio, this is great for a patio pond. Patio pond. I want to do a patio turtle pond video. That's what I want to do with the bog filter. Yeah, because you can put live plants in the land area, you know, and, you, and it's perfect. A little tropical setup with water and uh, got your water plants and land plants, and you're good to go. Is this a high yellow? Uh, it's more of a just the white. The, the, He's getting ready to shed his top scoot, oh, so right. okay, you can I see, see the see lighter through coming through. He's, he's getting a little bit beat up by the other turtles. So, so he'll be super white when he, after he finishes yeah, the scoots. Yeah, when he sheds all his scoots, it'll all uh, be nice and clean and Man, I, ready to go. You know what? Go. I don't want to leave, but I know it's getting late. You probably want to have dinner with your wife. I'm super happy that you invited us to your place to show off these rare yeah, aquatic not, turtles. Not a problem. Thank yeah. you very much, no man. Problem. We're Thank coming you back. For, I hope I didn't, by, hope yeah. we didn't wear out our welcome because we got more we want to talk about. No, no, it's all good. All right, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. All right, no problem.